This is a Let's Talk Church Safety and Security Microsode with your host, Paul Buckner. Hey Sheepdogs, just a quick thought. I'm actually about to go ride with one of the departments that I work with and I was thinking about on the ride over, like the changing face of church safety, how that works. And one of the things that I was thinking about is that wireless internet, as in the form of like having a wireless router at your church, one of the biggest struggles we had at my last church was everybody and their neighbor had our wireless password and we actually caught some local drug uh, local druggies two of which were convicted pedophiles they were sexual deviants they actually had our wireless password and what we were finding was the reason they did was this dear sweet little old lady who lived next door that was their grandma and she would give them because she came to our church and she connected her phone to our wi-fi she would give them the password. Well, the problem is they were giving it to their friends and pretty soon we were pulling up and finding people at all hours of the day and night that shouldn't have been there. So we had to go on to a, 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 through a policy of changing the rotation of our password. So the password got changed on a regular basis, number one. Number two, we ended up with uh, several situations like that over time in a short amount of time changed to several different layers of our security but I will tell you now had I do it to had I <clears throat> to do it over again today the thing that I would do differently is I would put in a wireless repeater because uh, in the form of a cellular repeater because so many people's data plans are actually becoming unlimited that's becoming pretty standard operating procedure for some of these different phone companies. So rather than opening ourselves up to liability by having um, a monthly situation going back and forth, I actually would probably put in a, a cellular repeater and let them connect out on their own data plan. And then, um, then you're not going to have a weird call where the FBI shows up at your church and this has happened and seizes all of your equipment to launch their investigation into who was looking at child porn at your church. That's terrible, but that's reality. That happens. And so that frees that up. And a lot of churches don't have great cell signal inside. Well, if you put a, I mean, you can buy them on Amazon. You put a cell repeater up inside of your root peak or just outside your root peak, run it. It's basically a coax cable all the way down. And then you put it and you try to centralize it. You can get extension cables for them. It's pretty standard stuff. And they're passive. You plug them in and they run. And you can get them now that are 4G, 5, 5G friendly. So anyway, just something to think about. So what's one I haven't said in a while? I've been saying Semper Disciplina. Um, keep your powder dry. God bless. If you enjoyed this microsode, check out the video and audio versions of the Let's Talk Church Safety and Security podcast.